She yeah. is my, no offense, my favorite human being I have ever met in my life. You guys are second and third. <laughs> Thank you. Gwen is my you. favorite human I've ever known. He's like the greatest human in the world. So, I mean, I'm not trying to up him right now, but that is seriously how I feel. He knows that. And um, just feeling real grateful, real grateful. Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani are total relationship goals, and we have the proof. From how they met on The Voice to their undeniable chemistry and super sweet love for each other, Access Hollywood is breaking down why they're such an amazing couple. The duo both met while working together on The Voice in 2014. Gwyn shared their first photo together on Instagram on November 25, 2016. She wrote him with a heart emoji as the caption. Despite the happy post, the duo was facing difficulties in their personal lives. They seemingly bonded over their broken hearts. It was announced July 2015 that Blake and Miranda Lambert were breaking up after four years of marriage. Then a month later in August, news broke that Gwen and her husband Gavin Rossdale were getting divorced after 13 years of marriage. Gwen actually admitted in 2016 that sometimes great things come out of bad situations. It's You know what's so fun? It's, it's fun to realize that you have no idea what's around the corner in your life. And if you're just like, have faith, you just, you never know. Something great could happen. And if something bad happens, you just say thank you because probably something good's going to happen next, you know? Things really started heating up for Blake and Gwen in November 2015 when his rep confirmed that they were dating. With adorable social media posts and their undeniable on-screen chemistry on The Voice, fans couldn't get enough. Team Gwen overall is whipping the crap out of Team Adam tonight. Like I just Figure out who your audience is and what it is that they love about what you do. I figured that out along the way with, with myself. And, is that why you have 21? Singles in a row. And that's why you're a future Rock and Roll Hall of Famer. Can you, like, tell me how you did that? You should tell me how you did that. I 21 hit singles in a row. I come from money, my family, <laughs> and we bought it. Gwen actually recounted to Access Hollywood in 2019 about how she went from not understanding the hype around Blake Shelton to being his biggest fan. When The Voice was airing early on, it you know I I wasn't watching The Voice because I was off doing my thing, and my, but my parents watched and my sister in law watched, so it's weird because they knew who Blake was, and even uh, somebody that worked for me, she would she, she was like, oh oh Blake Shelton, he's so hot, and I was like really that like, I didn't I was like okay well you're from Texas so okay probably so. like you would think that like <laughs> anyway so. Um, when I got pitched to do the show, they came over to my house and they sort of were like, the producer's like, yeah, you know, Blake, he's so great. Like, everyone loves him. He's like a big teddy bear. Like, everyone, he's just the greatest guy. And so they, they made him out to be this great guy and they sent me off all these DVDs, like, to watch of all the past shows. And as soon as I started watching, I could get, I got it. Like, I was like, wow, that guy's, like, funny and he's awesome. And when I first started on the show, I remember thinking, like, because I didn't know any of his music, um, so I didn't, like, when people are choosing, I'm like, why are they choosing him? Like, like, like country guy, <laughs> like, hello. <Don't> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, hello. But, it's, but now, like, I am, like, literally his biggest fan. In February 2016, they made their red carpet debut at the Vanity Fair Oscar party, and the Hall of Back Girls outfit was red hot. Their love continued to flourish. In May 2016, Blake spoke with Access Hollywood backstage at The Voice about an upcoming performance he was set to do with his love, and shared why he was so giddy about the performance. You know, it's um, I'm nervous, but in a new kind of way. I'm not like it's. I'm just kind of uh, giddy. It's a song that, that uh, you know Gwen and I wrote, and I. Originally, when I started writing this song, I was only trying to write a song, I think, looking back, that just to impress her. They also bonded over their deep love of music and even collaborated on the single Go Ahead and Break My Heart, which Blake dished about to Access Hollywood in 2016. I know what was going on, you know, <laughs> which was, you know, at the time, she and I were both, uh, you know, a little bit of trust issues because we of, of what we had been through, but, you know, basically letting our guards down with each other and, and, and to go, am I really going to do this again? Are right. we, am I really about to jump right back into, you know, another relationship? And, and, uh, and that's what the point of the song is like, almost like, you know, I, I know you're going to, you're going to break my heart. I know you're going to, so why don't you just go ahead and get it over with, right. you know? Save and us so, the trouble of time. Yeah, yeah. So that's where the, that's how the song was born. 
Later that year in November 2016, Gwen chatted with Access Hollywood exclusively backstage at Glamour's Women of the Year event, where Gwen raved about how Blake helped her so much after her divorce. I thanked Blake as well. I he's one of, yes, thank you, Blake Shelton, <laughs> for so many things. <laughs> to my children, to my family, to Blake Shelton for kissing me back to life. Thank you so much. He's been such an incredible friend to me and, and inspiring me to write songs and just, you know, inspiring me in so many ways. He's a real cool guy. You say this is the year 2016 where you were woken up. I was. I was kind of feeling like, wow, I knew it was dark. It was dark. And I was like, God, I didn't know I was going to bust out and be a butterfly. You know what I mean? I was like, I didn't know I was in a cocoon. I, I knew that I, I was, I, all of a sudden, I just feel like I could see color. In November 2017, the country crooner was named People's Sexiest Man Alive. And Gwen told Access Hollywood her reaction to the news, calling him her best friend. Blake's ego is fine. Um, <laughs> he's a very humble person. Um, mine, though, on the other hand, now I am my my boyfriend, which is even weird to say, um, is the sexiest man alive. So I knew that, and I knew I was onto something. But now everybody else just happens to know. But I'm really um, proud of him, and he's my best friend. And it's just a magical time. After a few years of dating and plenty of wedding rumors out there. Blake was starting to have wedding bells on the brain. He spoke with CMT's Cody Allen and admitted that he's open to marrying his love, but don't expect a wedding to happen anytime soon. I don't know, I don't think it's anytime soon or anything, but uh, you know, the more time that goes by, I guess the closer you'd be getting to that. Gwen would later kick off her Vegas residency and her man couldn't be more proud of her. In June 2018, he tweeted, Sitting here watching Gwen Stefani rehearsals, it continues to shock me the amount of giant hits this girl has written. I highly recommend y'all check her Vegas show if you can get tickets. Gwen reacted saying, OMG, just seen this now. I love you. Hashtag best boyfriend ever. Hashtag favorite person. The duo is also all about family time. In October 2018, she spilled details about her and Blake's festive Christmas traditions with her kids. You, you posted this, uh, I think it was a, a video on Instagram of the kids running into the living room for Christmas Day. Yeah. Like you had, like basically it was wrapped and they like broke through it. Yeah. How do you tap that this Christmas? Well, that's that like a, a tradition? tradition. That's a tradition, yeah. And I'm so, it's sad that Santa doesn't do that at every, I guess he doesn't have time to do that at everybody's house. Yeah. But we had that my whole life. The couple seem to be super in love, and Blake Shelton is still counting his blessings years after their relationship started. In September 2019, he gushed about Gwen, calling her his favorite person he's ever known. I, I still can't believe that I'm dating Gwen Stefani. That's the big... <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> if, if I... You know what I love about if her? If I have won yeah. anything from The Voice, it's that. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's like the real champ right there, yeah. Okay. But she's so down to Enjoy. earth is what I love about yeah. Gwen, right? She is literally... Orange County girl. She's my, yeah. she is my, no offense, my favorite human being I have ever met in my life. You guys are second and third. Thank you. Gwen is my it. favorite human I've ever known. Gwen and Blake are no strangers to working together, and in December 2019, Gwen had the best reaction to talking about their new single, Nobody But You. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I get to talk about it. Um, yes, we do, and I'm really excited about it. This is gonna be our, I feel like, third song we've done together and I can remember like just fantasizing about being able to work with Blake but let alone now to be this far down and have another song. I never dreamed this would happen. From their super sweet love story to their undeniable chemistry, Blake and Gwen seem to have it all. We love how much this couple loves each other and that's why Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton are total relationship goals.